Hey guys, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a new add-on I found on the internet made by this guy. So I saw him on Twitter and he's an amazing look dev artist. You guys should follow him up on Twitter. And he made this tool called Substance Tool. It's on GitHub. I'm going to put the link down below, but it's the best substance tool I've ever used for Blender. It's like the best add-on. I don't know why Adobe hasn't created something like this. It actually imports and exports um, your file from Blender to Substance and back without any hassle. It's just like a nice bridge. And I'm going to show you guys how it works now. And I'm just going to create uh, a scene, uh, a sphere. I'm going to make two meshes. I'm just going to make a cube. By default, because they are blenders, Blender primitives, they are actually uv to make sure your stuff is uv because if they are not it's not gonna work so uh you need to save you can't actually export without saving your file so usually you save before you export anyway so i'm gonna go to my desktop and just save this i'm gonna save this crazy for some crazy reasons and i'm gonna save this crazy so why it needs you to save because it needs a collection and it's going to like where you save your file is going to create a collection folder where it's going to store all your substance um all your substance textures but you can actually play with that i'm going to show you how you can play with that and maybe make you customize your own stuff but i want to just show you how cool this add-on is real quick so now we have this um sphere and um, um a cube so the next thing we're going to do we're going to look for the um add-on which is called substance i have a lot of add-ons here and this is called substance and what i'm going to do now i'm on collection it, it actually exports your mesh in collection so every mesh you want to export has to be in a collection so you press um, export and open painter so when you do that it's going to open substance painter for you which is really amazing usually you end up going to file export as obg or fbx or whatever but now you don't have to do that and when you come to painter you have to actually come here and go to file and you go to import or new and there's so many assets but it does everything for you and you don't have to do anything so i'm not going to go ahead and bake or anything like that i just want to drop in some textures some materials i have all my material is so i'm going to i'm going to pick something cool here yeah. so i'm going to pick this this one has some really nice patterns and i'm going to pick another one and put in i think this one's good so so let me, let me let's tile this a bit so we have this texture and we want to export it back to um, blender usually you come here you go to export textures what, what i do is like i like to organize my textures so that when i'm importing them to blender it's very organized so what i'll do is that i'll export my texture set into different folders so i might export the cube then i'll turn on turn off the cube and export the sphere but i don't have to do that the only thing i have to do with my is my output template which is the template i want to use in in blender so i'll go and make sure that i am using uh, blender principle shader then that's all i have to do because it actually created the directory for me which is textures collection that's where i save this file and i'm um, going to press export and that's all i need to do then i can go back to blender and i'll just go low texture now you can't see it here because i'm not in a rendered view so i'm going to go to render view uh let me change this to um cycles because cycles is better and maybe gpu now we don't have lights in our scene so we're just going to quickly add the light it's just an hdr and you can see bam and it's there nothing you don't have to go into like your like um for example you usually will go into a shader editor and we will do something but look at what it did let me let me frame this real quick so it did everything your node wrangler would do for example so usually uh we we'll create a material then we we'll press like uh, ctrl shift t then we load our textures this is very really fast that's a fast way to do it or you actually have to import all these things one by one which is crazy because we don't have time so now this is really amazing and the cool thing about this is we can actually go back to painter we didn't even save the file so oh this is a wrong file my bad 
that was like a test I did earlier. So uh, we can actually go to Painter and we can, let's say, add another texture to this one. Let's give it a sec to load. Okay, so, or oh, this one. Okay. And uh, let's style this too. And uh, let's change this. For example, let's change this. Okay. I think it is slow because Cycles is on and is rendering GPU. So, and this is GPU. So, I guess so. And uh, we'll come back here and we'll go back to Substance and we'll say Low Texture. yeah oh we didn't go to export textures my bad so uh we'll go to export textures and i think i can load now it's coming yep we load is back and it's 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 working pretty fine so that's it guys and uh i want to show you something cool again about this texture this um add-on is that you can actually go to your preferences and you go to substance for example because that's the when you can see it's called substance import and export tools really cool and you can this is my export path directory so this is the one i i created that's why if i should go to if i should go to substance and go to my export settings it's going to be on that part and that this is my last project i've set and that's why it's always going to this part but if for example for you guys it's not going to be like this for example, if I should just leave this blank, yeah, I will have to, and I'm going to like, um, I'm just going to delete this and just maybe just create new materials for them, for example, and I'm going to say export and open painter. It's going to open painter. I'm just going to get blender out of cycles. Render view so that I can be a bit faster because it's taking up my GPU. And um, so it's going to open painter. Yeah, yeah, right. we know this. We know the drill. I'm going to come here and drop this and drop this here. Okay, then we're going to go to file export textures and so it's called material material whatever and we we'll just it's going to blend the principle. But now you can see desktop textures collections, that's where it is because that's where I saved the file earlier on. And if I export now and I go back to painter and I say load textures from painter and I go back to so we have our textures so fast so it's it's crazy how fast this is so if you use substance in blender this is something i think you should use and i think it's really an amazing tool so hope you guys learned something from this thank you very much uh, and i'll see you on the next one